I want to, at intermission, there will be refreshments, mostly dessert sort of things, but I understand there will be some focaccia. Um, and is there anything else I was supposed to say? Oh, no, that's, those are the technical details. I, we, this year, this festival is dedicated to the memory of the founder of the Junior Bach Festival, who was Tirza Malakoff, who is very dear to all of us who have met her. She died at the age of 100. So she had a, she made her mark. And uh, her passing is something to celebrate. And we're, I feel humbled by the, by the fact that we're carrying on what she began. Um, I have something I want to show you. Many of you know this. It says J.S. Bach, and it's very thick. This is not a biography. This is the catalog of his works. To give you some idea of what this means, this catalog consists not of excerpts, but only insipids, two or three bars of each piece that he wrote. Okay, and there are still over a thousand pages. Okay, so there is an absolutely enormous body of work that we are drawing from. But regardless of that, the, the, the music that makes up the festival is from a remarkably, for the most part, is from a remarkably small part of that huge output. Bach's second to last job was at a court that was very strict about music in the church. They didn't even have a chorus. All the church music he wrote for five years was solo voice. There was no choral tradition in this town. And so he was freed up to write a lot of instrumental music. In fact, all of the violin and cello solo suites come from this period. Um, and we're going to hear a good deal of that tonight, and some of it on guitar. This is the period in which he wrote his notebook for his son, Wilhelm Friedemann, which the inventions and symphonias and a good deal of the well-tempered was included in. This is the year he lost his first wife. Well, not the year, but the period. He lost his first wife and married his second wife, Anna Magdalena, of notebook fame. Um, so this is all from Bach's... He was born in 1685. He was in Kirchen from 1717 to 1723. So I didn't do the math. Can you do the math? He's in his 30s. This is the peak of his creativity. Although, although saying that's the peak of Bach's creativity is kind of like pointing out that Everest is the highest of K2 and K3. There's, his whole life was very creative, obviously, but he was freed up to write this marvelous instrumental music that we get to hear. So without further ado, let, I'm very pleased to welcome the first performer.
received a, a wonderful surprise. Somebody came up to me and I reckon the honor of having with us tonight Sandy Bagnall, who was Piers Malakoff's niece and who came with her uh, on her visits on the last, in 2000 and 2003. And I'd like to invite her to say a few words. Thank you, Sandy. It is always the greatest of pleasures to speak of my aunt. Um, there were a number of loves in her life. I would say that Bach came very close to being the top. The Junior Bach Festival fit very nicely into that love cycle. And she never lost her zest for the wonder of teaching children music. Um, her last student was an amazing young man. And I had the pleasure of being there often and sitting in on his lessons. My granddaughter was also a student of hers, very talented, but not a good person at practicing, <laughs> to my aunt's great distress. Um, I am very happy to see all of you here. and. Please know that wherever she is, she is listening to the beautiful music that the children are playing here today.
hope you've looked through your program, and I hope some of you can make some of the other weekend concerts. There proves there's promises to be great variety, and we've got, you notice this funny looking floor we put down here. It's not for the sound, it's, but we're going to have ballet on both tomorrow's form performances to the music of the G Major Trio Sonata. We have a very unusual appearance by a trumpetist, trumpet player, um, and two children's choruses, three orchestras. It's going to be a wonderful weekend. I hope you can come back for some more. Okay, this, this gives us an opportunity to thank our wonderful evening's performers one more time, and I'd like them all to come up um, and stay up here, and we'll give you one more round of applause at the end. So please, Ji Su Song. Allegra Bautista. Catherine Lee. Nathaniel Morrison had to leave early, so we'll mail him his. Rose Liu. She is. Kim. Mark Kagan. Jonathan Shaw. Kendall Fisher. And Benjamin Tien. I'm honored to share the stage with you.